may be seated. Welcome to the graduation ceremony of the class of 2015. I am Chris Keesling, and this is probably a good time as any to uh, go ahead and silence your cell phones uh, if you have not done so already. I believe I've got mine as well. Congratulations, class of 2015. Today is your day. As you soak up the feeling of excitement, joy, and accomplishment that you have brought to yourself and your family, enjoy it and celebrate it. On behalf of the Rochester Community School Corporation, it is an honor to recognize and introduce everyone on the stage here today. School Board of Trustees, Mrs. Lisa Lee, Mr. Steve Schaller, Mrs. Jenny Smith, Mr. Brad Weaver, President, Mr. Tom Schwank, and Superintendent, Mrs. Jana Vance. Uh, not, able, not able to be here uh, due to previous uh, family engagement was uh, Mrs. Sandy Tyler, and then, of course, uh, Mr. Don Meyer is down rooting on West at the state uh, track meet. Also with us is a high school on the high school administration is Mr. Adam Strasser, our principal, Mrs. Wendy Turneden, senior uh, counselor, also Miss Christina Velasquez, junior cl counselor, and senior class sponsor, Mr. Tony Stasiak. At this time, I would like to say a special thank you to Mrs. Ann Beeler uh, for all of her tireless efforts in, in organizing this ceremony today. And I can't say enough about that. She has been absolutely outstanding, uh, even getting this flower pinned on me. So absolutely excellent job. Uh, I would also like to say thank you to Mrs. Julie Calvert, Mrs. Kristen Horn, Mrs. Lottie Smoker, and Mrs. Shelley Gibson. Mrs. Patty Paris for all their administrative support as well. And an extra big thank you again to Mrs. Kristen Horn, who filled in for Mr. Helt, who could not be with us, as he's also down at the state track meet as athletic director supporting our athletes on. I will now ask uh, the following people to please stand, as you have all played a major role in helping our graduates reach this goal. I would like for all the Rochester community teachers and staff, members that are in attendance, to please stand. Thank you all for your valuable contributions to the graduation development of our youth. I would also like to take a moment to recognize some others that will be leaving us with this class. Uh, if you are in attendance, please stand as we wish you the very best of luck in your retirement. From the high school, Mrs. Maria Kelsey. Rochester Middle School, Ms. Mrs. Pat Minnis. In addition, Rochester Community Schools Administration, Mrs. Loretta Deerdorf. Thank you for your years of dedicated service and education to uh, Rochester's youth. These graduates would not be here today without the love and support of all their families. We would like to recognize and appreciate the role that the families play in the education of their students. Would the following people please stand in support of these graduates? Grandparents, brothers, and sisters, please stand. Let us recognize you. Awesome, absolutely awesome. To honor the graduates, parents, and the very important role that they have played in your graduation, we will ask the parents stand as your student crosses the stage to receive their diploma. Thank you for valuing and supporting their education. It's a big job. I've had four of them go through myself. It's a very big job, and you're to be commended. Before we proceed, please be reminded that the graduation ceremony is a dignified ceremony. As a matter of respect and safety, the Board and Administration of Rochester Community Schools requests that the guests consider the formality of the ceremony and refrain from using air horns or noisemakers during the graduation ceremony. Use of an air horn 
will delay the ceremony while the item is being removed, so please refrain from doing that. Again, Rochester High School requests your help in maintaining the dignity and honor of the graduation. At the conclusion of the ceremony, parents and friends can meet the graduates in the auxiliary gym. Thank you. It's my pleasure to introduce the class of 2015's valedictorian and salutatorian at this time. This year's salutatorian is Riley Pfeiffer. She is the daughter of Ed and Wendy Pfeiffer. Riley will be attending Indiana University in the fall. She will be majoring in nursing. Riley's goal is to become a pediatric nurse. Congratulations, Riley. This year's valedictorian is Covenant Lingenfelter. She's the daughter of Lyle and Kana Lingenfelter. Covenant will be attending Indiana University in the fall and will study arts management with an emphasis on anthropology and theater arts. Covenant's goal is to receive her master's degree in arts administration. Congratulations, Covenant. Okay, 982,800. That's the number of minutes that we spent together in school since the first day of kindergarten. Some of us have been with each other from the very beginning and others have come and gone throughout that time. But over the last 13 years of our lives, we've had front row seats to each other's sporting events, concerts, plays, and classroom presentations. We stood side by side as we played games during recess with each other during elementary school and went through the awkward stages of middle school. And now here we are. In just a few moments, we'll no longer be students of Rochester Community Schools. We'll just have the memories of one. Memories that were made every day throughout those 982,800 minutes. The most important lesson I learned this year deals with time. How do we measure the time we spent in high school? When we were first starting out as freshmen, we probably measured it in the time of a single class period. And then as days turned into weeks and weeks into months, we measured it in semesters and years, counting down to our eventual freedom. And now here we are, our run at RHS is over, and the time has come for us to sit here with one another one last time, like we have so often over the last 13 years, and say goodbye or see you later to the people that have become such a normal part of our everyday life. I thought that writing a speech for graduation would be fairly easy, considering that, like a lot of seniors toward the end of the school year, I had quite a bit of spare time. But when I tried multiple times to sit down and write it, I started thinking about my time in high school. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized that it's impossible to measure it in class periods, days, weeks, semesters, or years. When I think about all the time we spent here, I no longer envision how long we sat in class waiting for the bell to ring. I see us walking over here from the middle school, meeting our parents to set up our first ever high school schedule at the end of our eighth grade year, thinking that graduation was an eternity away. I picture us standing in the back rows of sporting events as freshmen and the infinite discussions on Fridays and Global. I think of sophomore year ending and being unable to believe that we were only halfway done. I see us all talking about taking the SATs our junior year and cherishing each and every moment we had the privilege of spending in American studies. Instead of remembering our time here by the awful feeling of Monday mornings, I see Lane coughing doing cartwheels down the sideline at basketball games and I hear Vanessa's voice coming on the intercom saying, hello zebras, it's that time of the day again. I see Covenant and Dom on the stage in the auditorium and Jesse and Caleb's artwork in the hallway. Now when I remember my time in high school, I won't think of homework or deadlines, but instead I'll laugh when I still hear Noah's voice debating with anybody about anything, and when I think of Michael almost making us miss our train on the way back from Chicago. <laughs> Actually, it's still too soon. It'll be a while before I laugh about that. If I close my eyes, I can still hear Erica's voice louder than every other student in the hallway and I see Jay and Jacob running down the football field for another touchdown. And then I see us a week ago, finally sitting at our senior breakfast and going through graduation practice and having the water balloon fight on the last day of our high school careers. So despite the fact that we've spent 982,800 minutes in school together, 
Now I feel like my high school time is measured so much differently. It's measured in friendships and relationships, the time that people have invested in me and that I've invested in them. So when all of our specific memories of high school, high school begin to fade, we'll no longer measure the time we spent here in class periods or semesters, but in the time we spent with one another and the friendships, no matter how big or small, that we had the opportunity of experiencing. I feel blessed that when I look back on my high school years, I won't necessarily remember the 982,800 minutes that I spent in Rochester classrooms, but that it was with all of you that I got to share those minutes with. So here's to the Rochester High School graduating class of 2015, and let us remember that our time is the most valuable thing in the world, and we're the only ones that get to choose how and with who we spend it. So be proud, do right, treat everyone with respect, be a zebra, and spend your time doing exactly what you want to do when you want to do it. Life's much too short to spend it doing anything else. Thank you. I remember what I wore the first day of my freshman year because they weren't my clothes and because it made me wonder, how much of my life must I go around wearing what doesn't belong to me so that I can belong where I'm not supposed to be? And sometime that year, my favorite teacher told me, kid, you've got potential. And I believed him partially because I could tell he understood me, but also because I desperately wanted to have been made for something more than the fate of every man. So I swore I'd prove myself and I began to build a statue in my own image. Then sophomore year came and I conveniently ignored the fact that the foundations of the image I was constructing rose up from the sand of total self-reliance. That winter lasted longer than any before or since. I spent it feverishly rehearsing my act, only this time it wasn't somebody else's clothes I was wearing, it was their language I was speaking. And I remember wondering why all my best work belonged to another. I was numb, but I just kept saying to myself, I've got potential and I'll prove it. And each day the image I was building towered higher and higher until eventually people started to notice. In that season of my life, the only time I prayed was when the rains came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against my statue with more force than I thought it could withstand. Strangely enough, all my prayers ended with a question that went something like, how much of my life must I speak with a voice that doesn't belong to me so that I can belong where I'm not supposed to be? Before I knew the answer, it was junior year. My statue was complete, and if not for a few cracks in my cemented resolve, I had thoroughly convinced myself that I could easily play the part that showed that I alone had made myself, and only I could break my heart. So I got what I wanted out of life because I earned it. And people looked now, whether they liked what they saw or not. The image I had created spoke loud and clear, if only to proclaim in a voice that wasn't mine, how with my own hands I had formed a worthless statue which hardly resembled myself and wore somebody else's clothes. That year I found that I was capable of making a conscious decision to care or not to care about a person. But this knowledge left me wondering, how much of my life must I force my heart to pump the blood that doesn't belong to me so that I can belong where I'm not supposed to be? And by the end of that year, my statue had finally collapsed under the weight of my own pride. I remember walking the halls on my last first day back, experiencing the relief and dread that meant nothing could intimidate me anymore because I no longer carried the burden of living to prove myself. And so the flood that had drowned my granite heart of my granite form drained my heart of all false passion, and I wondered if I had ever felt anything real in all my time spent on the world stage, mimicking emotion to move my audience. I remember vaguely telling my mother one day that I didn't think people liked me this year, which really bothered me at the time, and yet letting everyone down in March was the most anticlimactic moment of my life. And now I wonder, how long must I look back in shame on the image I used to see when I was trying so hard to belong in a life I wasn't supposed to lead? And I'd swear I haven't slept since last spring, but I won't stop, not because I can't, but because I will myself not to. Because I am finally realizing my potential to be zealous about something that can withstand the refining fire, and that's worth a thousand sleepless nights. Because in dying to myself, I awoke to a life I'm not ashamed to live. Because I've remembered that the highest calling is to be the lowest, and that in my weakness, he is strong. Because I finally found a face that looks like home in all my wandering, and because in breaking my own heart, I realized Christ alone could fix it. So I'm standing here before you with barely 17 years behind me, and all the wisdom I can offer you is to realize. Realize the value of education if it takes you a decade working at a job you hate to realize you actually want to go back to college and get that degree you talked about pursuing back in high school. Realize the existence of a transcendent power in the world if you wait till you're on your deathbed to recognize that he has always been there. Or like me, 
Wait until the last week of your senior year to realize you hope someday you can be half the woman your mother is. And despite the fact that no matter what your father says, you're still convinced that everything good happens after midnight, realize that the reason you will choose to honor him is because no man in the world is more worthy of your respect. But most relevant to you all right now is to realize the method in the madness. Learn to see the lesson in all of your experiences and I guarantee you will find success in life. Thank you.
The class of 2015 becomes the 135th graduating class of Rochester Community Schools and the fifth class to graduate as a new tech class at RHS. Tonight we recognize the efforts of this class and the accomplishments they have achieved. The class of 2015 leaves with a legacy of which we are all very proud. 80% of this class will move on to a four-year, two-year, or technical college. 14% have chosen to serve their country in our armed forces, and 6% will be moving directly into the workforce. The class of 2015 will graduate 95% of the class. In preparation for future edu education, the class of 2015 amassed 535 college credits just during their senior year at RHS. 48 students earned individual scholarships at our annual honors night, earning $252,060 towards their post-secondary education. The Department of Education has four diploma types a student can earn. The class of 2015 has 86% of the class earning the more difficult academic honors, technical honors, or core 40 diploma. You are an outstanding class of graduates, one that will be hard to match. At this time, I would like to recognize some honored groups of seniors. First sitting here in the front row, wearing solid gold tassels and honor medallions, are our highest academic achievers, the top 10 of the class of 2015. Please stand and be recognized. Next, I would like to recognize members of the National Honor Society. These students are recognized for scholarship, service to others, leadership, and strong character. They are wearing gold cords. Please stand and be recognized. The state has established tougher graduation requirements for certain diploma types. 44% of the class of 2015 are graduate, graduating with an academic honors diploma or technical honors diploma. Please stand and be recognized. Forty-two percent of the class has met the requirements to receive the Core 40 Diploma. Please stand and be recognized. Fourteen percent of the class of 2015 has chosen to serve those of us in this room and their country those of you that are entering the military service, thank you. Please stand and be recognized. The RHS class of 2015 is an outstanding group of individuals who excelled at nearly everything they attempted in high school. You all excelled academically, athletically, musically, theatrically, philanthropically, and never failed to support each other at your events. There's only one area I can think of that the class of 2015 did not excel, and that was taking no for an answer. Any answer of no was sure to be met with a spirited debate from you and it would always include at least one George W. Bush impression. <laughs> I want to thank you for questioning me and standing up for yourselves. You made me a better principal because you made me rethink and redefine what was important to me and what it takes to make RHS a great place for our students. You challenged me to be better at what I do. I challenge you to keep that spirit moving forward. Ask questions and challenge convention. Make our world a better place because you won't accept it as it is. You are the future of our community, and I believe our future is bright. 
Now, I know Mrs. Kelsey's retiring, but I did pay attention in her class this year. And I heard her say that quotes are a good way to tie the end of a speech together. So I want to share a quote by one of my favorite philosophers, Marshall Mathers, that shares exactly how I feel about you. You are phenomenal. With every ounce of your blood, with every breath in your lungs, you won't stop until you're phenomenal. However long that it takes, you will go to whatever lengths. You would never say, oh, it's impossible. You are going to be phenomenal. Seniors, I wish that I could have spent more than one year with you. It has truly been an honor and a pleasure to serve as your principal. Parents, please stand as your son and daughter receives his or her diploma. We want to recognize your contribution. Please honor this ceremony and applaud for each graduate after they receive their diploma. To the superintendent of schools, Mrs. Vance, I certify the class of 2015 has met the requirements for graduation set by the state of Indiana, the board of school trustees of Rochester Community School Corporation, and the faculty and staff at Rochester Community High School. This year's names will be read by our guidance counselors, Mrs. Wendy Turneden and Mrs. Christina Velasquez. Will the first row please stand? Zachary Kyle Agnew, Academic Honors and Technical Honors. Sarah Ann Birch, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Hunter Francis Crispin, Core 40 with Academic and Technical Honors. <clears throat> Zachary Wade Du Bois, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Vanessa Elizabeth Reyes Henning, Core 40 with Academic Honors. <laughs> Covenant LaCour Lingenfelder, Core 40 with Academic Honors. <laughs> Vonda Jean Mullet, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Stephen Ray Newton, Core 40 with Academic Honors. <laughs> Riley Nicole Piper, Core 40 with Academic Honors. <laughs> Noah Patrick Roberts, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Bailey Ann Abbott, Core 40 with Academic Honors and New Tech Certification. <laughs> Joshua Lloyd Adley, Core 40 with Academic and Technical Honors. <laughs> Brant Austin Aldridge, Core 40 Diploma. Mitchell Wayne Allman, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Sarah Irene Amick, Core 40. Joshua Eugene Baker, Core 40. Julie Ann Baker, Core 40. <laughs> Jessica Baldwin, Core 40 with Academic Honors. <laughs> Madison Ashley Barclay, Core 40.
Adam William Basham, Core 40 with Academic and Technical Honors. Chantel Lee Baugh. Wesley Carl Beck, Core 40. Talon James Becker, Core 40. Lindsay Nicole Bebout, Core 40. Brooke Lee Beeman, Core 40. Martin William Boardman, Core 40. Gage Orion Bauer. Randall Matthew Brack, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Tracy Nicole Birch, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Tracy May Burns, Core 40. John Ryan James Coffey. Lane Christian Coffing, Core 40. Kelsey Nicole Collins, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Ace Cody Cook. Christian Michael Copeland, Core 40 with Academic and Technical Honors. Shaylee Marie Korn, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Kevin Michael Koss, Core 40. Brian James Cottingham, Core 40. <laughs> Sawyer Wayne Kripe, Core 40. <laughs> Noah Michael Dahlquist, Core 40 with academic honors. Aaron John Doreski. Cole Allen Dowd, Core 40. Kirsten Lene Drubert. Erica Arlene Enyart, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Andre James Eriks. Andrew David Feldman, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Kelsey Ann Foreman, Core 40. Tyler Anthony Gilbert, Core 40. Wesley David Gaughan, Core 40 with Academic and Technical Honors. Megan Christine Goldine, Core 40. <laughs> Greg
Griffin and Marinda Goss, Core 40 with Academic Honors. <laughs> Shayla K. Grayler, Core 40. <laughs> Adriel D. Harper, Core 40. Tanner Scott Hayden. Jerry Dean Heckathorn, Core 40 with Technical Honors. Timothy Neal Heiss, Core 40. Sarah Jean Helt. Cody Ryan Howard, Core 40. <laughs> Jacob Todd Hardoshell, Academic Honors. <laughs> Bailey Christine Hodkins, Academic Honors. Caleb Dean Hunter, Academic Honors. John Joseph Hunting, Academic Honors. Megan Christine Jackson, Academic Honors. Cheyenne Nicole Johnson, Core 40. Jody Eileen Jones, Academic Honors. Kayleen Marie Camp, Academic Honors. Sorry. Kaylee Blaze Kelly, Academic Honors. <laughs> Kayleen Danielle Kerr, Core 40. Austin Lee Kimball, Core 40. Emily Taylor King, Academic Honors. <laughs> Michael David Kanzler, Academic Honors. <laughs> Jacob Taylor Lees, Academic Honors, Technical Honors. Joseph Robert Lewis, Core 40. Karsten <laughs> Lynn Lickenfelter, Academic Honors. <laughs> Mariana Lene Lau, Academic Honors. Shade Aline Mains. <laughs> Lane Matthew Marks, 440. <laughs> Temple Lynn Mason, Academic Honors. Taylor Lee Medina, Core 40. <laughs> Tristan James Miller, Core 40. <laughs> Sa
Zachary Marvin Miller, Academic Honors, Technical Honors. Jaden Erika Minx, Core 40. Jade Kendra Moon. McKenna Jordine Morgan, Academic Honors. Cordell Douglas Nold, Core 40. Lindsay K. Nile, Core 40. Kian Allen Powell, Core 40. Seth Alexander Rainburn. Chloe Rose Richard Academic Honors. Amanda Jane Reisner, Academic Honors. Emily Elizabeth Rose, Academic Honors. Jose Carlos Ruiz, Core 40. Samantha Re Jane Rupert, Academic Honors. Garrett Emery Chain, Academic Honors. <laughs> Justin Joseph Shorter, Academic Honors. Jordan Anthony Schaefer, Core 40. Brody Christian Michael Schaefer, Core 40. Dale Jacob Shelburne, Academic Honors. Abigail Pauline Shireman, Academic Honors. Marcus Ray Smiley, Core 40. Brandon Lee Spencer, Core 40. Kaiser William Story. Tabata Nicole Styles. Nicholas James Lee Taylor. Christopher Lloyd Tramp. Dominic Dean Thomas, Academic Honors. Michael Zachary Thomas, Core 40. Adrian Ann Timmons, Core 40. Connor Newman, Ulrich, Academic Honors. Bryce, Bryce Corbin Velez, Core 40. Yeah. 
Anthony Joseph Vendola. <laughs> Ashley Nicole Words, Core 40. <laughs> Cheyenne K. White Knight, Core 40. China Renee Wilson, Core 40. Matthew Earl Walton, Core 40. Logan Scott Johnston, Academic Honors. I declare the class of 2015 officially graduated.
Right. <laughs>